Hello guys, today I'm gonna be showing you a difference in speed between V-Ray 5 and Cycles using GPU, right? As you can see here, we have uh, two NVIDIA RTX 3070 and a very basic CPU from four years ago, but I am using the three of them all together combined uh, and I'm gonna do the same for Cycles I'm not talking about Cycles X, I'm, not, I'm talking about the regular Cycles in Blender 2.93 and let's start it right, that's a very simple scene which has a uh, Suzanne here in a glass shader a Suzanne here in a, a metallic shader two trees, it's an interior scene it doesn't make any sense the scene but I think it's good to test glass, translucency, metallic and interior bouncings as well right let's just start it you can see here V-Ray 5 GPU okay here you go the engine is starting let's see how long it will take that is the default the default uh, GPU the I didn't change any settings right I'm just using the basic settings let's see how it goes you see V-Ray is pretty good V-Ray GPU is pretty good it's way way faster than CPU I can say that I don't know how it deals with uh, huge scenes though but for interiors are great I mean I'm saying huge scenes taking account uh, tree vegetation uh, lots of things lots of uh, polygons right pretty good Still rendering. Let's see how it goes. Let me know, guys, if you have been using V-Ray GPU that much. Talk with me here in the comments. I I'm not using that that much nowadays. I use more Blender but I used to use V-Ray a lot for 10 years V-Ray CPU ok it's denoising now denoising, denoising still denoising done? done ok it's 1 minute 45 seconds right? The basic settings which is this let's go to cycles we have the same scene the same way right I'm just gonna hit render we have uh, 250 samples I'm gonna put it down to 150 right and uh, maybe I'll leave it in 3 in 3 Two. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes here. I forgot to configure the my scene here. I'm using adaptive sample sample adaptive sampling. Right? Not fast. I don't want a fast approximation. I just want uh, very basic stuff. Right. Okay. Environment good. I'm gonna leave it the environment the way it is, and then that's all. Okay, that's all. Let's let's render that.
Not quite sure I'm using. I'm not. Oh, I'm not using my my CPU. Okay. Now, let's make it fair. Okay. You see those buckets? I wish I have a threaded reaper so we could have this like going crazy. But for now it's fine. That's yes, fine for now it's fine. Okay, 37 seconds, right? I don't think this scene is, is worse than the re scene, it's just kind of a different result, right? A bit of different results, but I think it's pretty good as well. Let's bring it back a V ray scene. That's a very scene, right? Let's compare here. Oops. Oops. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, yeah, they they behave different, right? I'm using. Uh, I'm using cycles, but then I'm clamping some GI, that's why this area behaves a bit different. Let's see how it goes here. I can see some artifacts going on here, here, you see? Because of, I like the GI here better. We have some weird thing going on here. There's still some noisy going on. Even one minute, one minute 45 seconds. We still have some noise going on, and in this area, it got it, it's not that good. It's not that good. Let's reduce the settings for V-Ray for the for the GPUs. Then we can we can make it fair because I want to reduce the the time in V-Ray to get close to something. In cycles otherwise it's it's not gonna make any sense uh, the denoise I will go instead of the V-Ray denoise I will go to open Intel denoise which is the same we have in V-Ray or in cycles right and let's make it now and see how it goes it's gonna be way faster way way faster Better, better. I mean, I think better here, right? Because now we can see a bit more on the refraction side. Okay. Finish, finish. 48 seconds. Pretty good, eh? Pretty good, pretty good, very smooth. I mean, of course, this is low, we can improve, but still noisy here. Still we get noisy here, all over the place. Okay, 48 seconds, not bad, not bad. Let's go to our cycles and let's make it Let's make it the fair comparison now, which is gonna be this guy, this guy. Okay, and now I go here, I put this tree, I put this maybe ten. going on overall overall GI going on we can go here a bit okay.
guy. I'm going to reduce to here. And let's see. Let's see how it goes. All right. Okay, 31 seconds, 31 seconds, right? And we have pretty good render. We have this area really good. Let's compare. Let's compare. Bring the ray here. So, what we can see. We can see that the V-Ray version is way, way noisy. It has much more noisy all over the place. And the Cycles version seems pretty clean. I like this glass area here. And I like V-Ray as well. I love V-Ray glass. But in terms of the noisy, I think I prefer this guy here because we can see more the details of the leaves behind, right? But both are using Open Intel, the noise, right? This area is pretty much similar. The Cycles one is a bit brighter, but maybe it was because of the compositor. Let me see this area here. I like more this area I kind of like more the cycles area you know I like more these details here in the corner maybe the same here I'm not quite sure I like both but yeah it's not it's not that insane I like the GI how the GI here you can see a bit more green going on right around this area I mean it's it's not bad both are good right both are good both are acceptable but that proves that 31 seconds against 48 seconds in V-Ray GPU V-Ray 5 this is not even Cycles X Cycles X is the new Cycles coming uh, around September, October, I don't know and this is promising to be two times, three times faster but right now from this comparison Cycles beats very GPU in speed you just need to know how to use Cycles you can't just open Blender, put full GI in Cycles and Caustics and everything and you know, expect the cycle is going to be fast. It's not going to be fast. Still, it's going to be faster than V-Ray CPU. There is no comparison. But uh, in order to get cycles speeding up, even over V-Ray GPU, you have to tweak a bit, a uh, couple settings. And it's not unfair that because the, the only settings V-Ray has for GPU is those settings here and I already put this setting way way lower here that's the maximum that's why we still have some noisy right I, I lower down I lower it down the levels in a way that we still get noisy in the scene and it took 48 seconds so nine so 17 seconds over the uh, above the, the the cycles so yeah it's pretty, that's pretty much it i hope you guys like that and see you soon